Hello everybody, this is Nantox from ntfgaming.com with another Factual Opinions, the only place to get the correct opinion on the state of video games. And this time we're going to be taking a look at Sniper Elite 4, the latest from Abelian. This has been a franchise long running and each one just you know, gets its way a little bit closer and closer and closer. And 3 was a big jump and 4 is a gigantic leap. It's uh, incredible. They've made a huge transformation from the small game it was to what it is now. The mechanics, the stealth, the gameplay, it's so refined, it's so polished. The environments are these huge sprawling land masses, so you can really just stretch your creative freedom and, and tackle the levels in a lot of different ways. The, the AI, the mechanics they give you, the way the sniping works, the difficulty, the way you can set it you know, as a custom difficulty so it doesn't have to be one way or the other you can tailor it to how you want to play it if you want to just have laser bullets that just fly out of your gun and x-ray people in the face or if you want to have a sim experience with gravity and you know bullet drop and turn off the x-rays and just play it like the super gritty hardcore sniper game the options are there there's plenty of multiplayer modes it's really fast the servers the co-op I mean, literally everything about it, it's optimized great. It runs so smooth. Tons of progression. You keep everything going. It's full of just small things that add up to this really big picture, and it's an awesome game. Now, there is... It's not perfect. I'm not saying it's the greatest game ever. The storyline is so... You know, there's a lot of cheese there. Some of the characters are hilarious in their voices and their voice acting. But it just has like this charm to it, you know. I played it with my fiance and co my wife actually in co-op, and uh, you know we just had a laugh at it. Like the, the storyline has, you know, ups and downs, but at least it has a full storyline. It's a cohesive story, and the main bad guy, General Bohm, I did want to kill him by the end of the game, and you know sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you need a B-movie storyline to get you through, and there's nothing wrong with that. Not everything has to be this grand. You know, we're saving the world from destruction type of storyline. Like, it, there's room for games like Sniper Elite in their storyline. That's totally fine. I'm not saying the game is a B game. I think it's actually really sound mechanic-wise and control-wise. And uh, it's a lot of fun to play, man. There's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of reasons to go back and tackle the levels again. I really enjoyed it. I really, really appreciate that they keep improving their game, even though they're not one of the big, you know, triple A publishers, that's fine. There's room for games like this to be awesome, and it doesn't have to always be the big guys getting all the attention. Sniper Elite 4 is definitely worth it. I give it a 4 out of 5, and sometimes words just can't express, you know, they just can't express how you really feel about a game. So I'm just going to hang back, and I'm going to have this little compilation here that it was put together of some, uh, some of the finer qualities of Sniper Elite. So I'm going to hang back, let you watch some of this footage. I'll post the links down to where the footage comes from. It's not mine. There's a couple different sources. And I'll end it with something very special. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm just going to let the video speak for itself about why you guys should play Sniper Elite 4.